What's good, stuff? King? It's your boy, Upper Classic. You are now tuned into the Village Reaction Channel on the tool. I need everyone to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Don't get punched in the face. This would be BMG out. You get big rats. You feel me? You already know who BMG got this city high. That's a fact. BMG got the city high. You want to shoot up a classic school shooter? Better know my clip like a school Button for me because we on the road to 100,000 subscribers. Yes, 100,000 subscribers. You feel me? You want consistent upper? You got to consistently subscribe. So hit that subscribe button for me, y'all. Today I'm going to be reacting to K Flock's Life Behind Bars. You feel me? So what I'm afraid to do, let's get straight into it. See what's going on in this video. Over the last couple of months, it's been obvious to many that K-Flock was on his way to becoming the next big thing in the Bronx drill rap scene. The numbers are there for anyone to see. Numbers don't lie, they say. Racking up millions of views on YouTube, highly rated by many, nominated for awards, and even performed at some of the world's biggest music festivals. Yeah, nominated? With his latest running with the law, what fans, award? however, have been worried. What awards k I got nominated for? I didn't even know that. Will he beat his case, or will he be staying in jail for, for a very long time? Only time will tell. Has his experience in jail been normal, or has it been hell? This video this will tell you all that, boss. so make sure you don't miss any part. It's been well documented that K-Flock hasn't really had the best of time in the last few months following his arrest, or should I say surrender, to the New York Police Department, having been declared wanted. Just when most people were already preparing for the Yuletide last year, the NYPD released a post indicating that K-Flock was being wanted for murder. Days later, on December 23, 2021, he decided to surrender to the police, which was the reasonable thing to do at the time because he had been declared wanted and deemed armed and dangerous. Since that time, he's already been fighting this case, denied bond, and also being held at the notorious Rikers Island. Weeks after k got into jail, rumors began to fly around that he got jumped by another inmate in jail. The rumors claimed that his attacker might have shared a relationship with his alleged victim, Oscar Hernandez, whom k was alleged to have killed. Even though that rumor has not been verified, he has, however, been sent to protective custody. So is it safe to say it was related to the rumored attack? We don't know for certain, but info had it that he's currently being held at the North Infirmary Command. Looking that up, we realized that the section he's being held in North Infirmary Command is made up of two separate buildings and inmates are housed in units because they need protective custody or maybe they have contagious infections, which definitely requires them to be separated from other inmates. Aside from that info, nothing is really clear about his condition behind bars and that has led to rumors about whether he was really attacked or maybe he was fighting an illness. k -Flock sure has a lot of fighting to do if he's to beat the charges slammed on him. Murder charges as well as multiple gun charges. First, having a loaded farm, and secondly, having a farm with an intent to commit a crime. Those are definitely You know funny shit if his if his if his lawyers is tactical enough to to like get the murder dropped, he'll just be fighting the gun charge for real and most likely he gonna get time served because he already sitting. So he might be fighting this case for next year and a half and then next thing you know the case yo you had or oh, they releasing them on a on, on um time serving shit for the gun charge they not small charges when you get to know that this is new york we're talking about according to the new york police department the alleged incident involving k flock happened on the 16th of december last year outside a barbershop on amsterdam avenue west 151st street they said the victim, Oscar Hernandez, was in the said barbershop waiting to have his hair cut when K-Flock passed away. And as he walked by, he opened what? the door to the barbershop. His hair cut when K-Flock passed away. Oscar <laughs> Hernandez. <laughs> what did he just say when K-Flock passed away or passed their way? Because now, now I'm really starting to think this headphone, headphone's got a mouth of his own. It just be saying shit like real talk. Was in the said barbershop waiting to have his hair cut when k Flock passed away. And as he walked by, he opened the door to the barbershop and asked the victim what he was looking at. That situation would definitely have pissed anyone off, especially when it does not seem like they both had any prior relationship. Police claimed that the victim then got up and walked over to k Flock, and a fight broke out. k Flock then withdrew and decided to walk away, 
before turning around and allegedly firing shots to hit Hernandez in the neck and Come on, that's bullshit. Nigga said a fight broke out, then K-Flock walked away. Like, it wasn't no fight broke out. Like, there's visuals on the internet of what happened, bro. It wasn't no fight, and then he walked away. Son said whatever he said when he came by the door, and K-Flock fanned him off and kept walking, and Son walked out behind him. And then when he walked out behind him, we don't see what happened, but we see him get shot and fall to the floor type shit. So where, where, did, where did the niggas begin the story from? Back. The victim was said to have ran back towards the barbershop before what? slumping. He was rushed to the Mount Sinai Morningside Hospital, yeah, where he was later pronounced drunk. dead. Immediately, the arrest warrant was released by the New York Police Department. They weren't specific about if there was any motive behind the shooting or if it was just one of those senseless shootings. Police, however, claim that it may have been gang-related, considering K-Flock is allegedly affiliated with the Bronx-based Third Side Gang. But is that enough to conclude that the victim was an op? Not sure about that, because Oscar Hern It was crazy how they demonized gangs. Like, it, it's crazy, you feel me? You know what it is? The reason why they demonize gangs so much is not more so the fact that some of these niggas be crimi doing criminal activities. We're not gonna take away from the fact that a lot of niggas that are affiliated in gangs perform criminal activities. But the reason why they demonize gangs is so that way that us as a community have no type of like link up or no type of bond with each other. Because if you look at it, like the Black Panther movement, the Black Panther movement was to protect our communities and, you know, fight back against black people being abused by cops and taken advantage of. And they demonized that and made it basically a gang as well. You know what I'm saying? And if you know, Crips and Bloods were started for positive reasons as well, because Crip is community res revolution and progress, and blood is brotherly love overrides some shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't remember how it goes, but we all know the shit started well who knows whoever knows knows if you know you know right it all started for positive reasons you know what i'm saying and if if you really do your research cops from the beginning of time were shooting black men and then dropping flags and making it look as if the opposite gang did it and that's how come everyone started beefing with each other just like now they do, they do different tactics with y'all, and I'm telling y'all, but y'all be thinking I just be making up shit, and I'm just the biggest conspiracy theorist in the world. But now y'all starting to see that the cops really do be in the comment section. Cops come in the comment section on the fake pages and would be smoking on your dad, would, would talk about shit that you're not even talking about on your live to change the narrative of your live. You will be talking about your album that's about to come out, or you will be talking about the, 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 the new motherfucker car you just bought and they'll come out of nowhere smoking on this person smoking on that person and they'll act like they jacking the gangs that you don't f with to stir up the problem now you over here on your life now you change your mindset say oh f them niggas ah, ah, these niggas k whole time them niggas wasn't even mentioning you now you and them niggas now the people that's trolling you in the comment sections take a snippet of what you responded and said they didn't show the whole live they ain't show what made you say what you say they just show you saying what you said, and then they send it to those opposition gangs, and now them niggas go live, and then there's beef, and the next thing you know, y'all spinning each other block, and y'all really trying to hurt each other and kill each other, and they sit back, and you know they just arrest niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk, if niggas took the link up they had in the gang shit and, 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 and finessed it in a way where it's not just about beef, where y'all can say, yo, you know what? It's a hundred of us. That's YG. Yo, you know what? Yo, we 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 all gonna put up a thousand dollars to start up this record label. Or we all gonna put up a thousand dollars to buy this corner store. Or some shit like that. And y'all niggas, you feel me? It might sound like some square ass lame shit at the point now, but when you locked up and you sitting down and you got nothing but time, you start to think about it and you like, damn son, I was out here riding around with these niggas doing all these shits. Not one of these niggas put a dollar on my books. Not one of these niggas sent me a package. None of these niggas checked my kids. None of these niggas check on my moms. None of that shit. And you start to notice and you're like, damn. This is a bunch of bullshit, you feel me? And then you probably gonna think, yo, son, that idea upper class had, if niggas would have really put that into play, niggas wouldn't have to be worrying about fighting these cases right now. Like, real talk, I think that's what niggas should do. Invest y'all bread together 
in like f the ops. Don't go looking for them. You feel me? Like just play defense in life. If if y'all beef is so real and y'all beef is so deep, y'all gotta go look for each other. But if niggas do cross pass and niggas got wrong energy, then defend yourself, obviously, because it's you or them. You feel me? You don't wanna die, obviously. You know what I'm saying? But don't go looking for niggas like go spinning their blocks. Looking for the problem, you know what I'm saying? Take y'all niggas money and invest. Y'all niggas be on the internet talking about y'all got 50 pairs of Ameris. Now, 50 pairs of Ameris is more than $50,000, you know what I'm saying? With that $50,000, is a lot that niggas could have did, but y'all lack the knowledge to know what to do with that money, you feel what I'm saying? Hernandez's family immediately came out to say that it may have been a case of mistaken identity as the victim never knew k Flock from anywhere prior to the shooting incident. Many people ran along with the stories, though as soon as it was reported that the alleged shooter was a rapper and a drill rapper at that, authorities have been working extra hard to reduce the gun violence that seems to have skyrocketed with the help of drill rap. How were the Damn. police even able to conclude? People blame drill rap for everything. <clears throat> so you telling me for the drill raps, the drill rap scene came around and the crime rate went up. What was the crime rate? What was the crime rate in the 80s? Did they have drill rap in the 80s? Because wasn't the crime rate in the 80s higher? Was it drill rap? They find everything that majority of us blacks and Hispanic partake in and demonize that shit. It wasn't drill rap in the 80s. They was talking about, look, even when 50 and them came out and shit, they started demonizing that type of music. Like, everything. So, so these rock and roll people don't rap about Murders too, cause I done hear rock and rock and roll niggas talking about murdering people before in they tracks. You feel me? Or oh, these weird ass f emo rappers, they don't rap about weird killing people too. They don't demonize that because it's not enough of us partaking in that type of music. That it was K Flock that pulled the trigger. The New York Police Department later released a photo of the suspected shooter, which was caught on surveillance footage. In the picture, the alleged shooter was a man wearing designer clothes. Even though his face was invisible, just maybe his dress his made cops invisible. conclude he was a rapper. <laughs> Is that even enough evidence to nail him? Maybe not. Like who goes no. about shooting ops dressed in designer clothes? Some fans were also quick. Why do every why do every meathead and every blogs say this stupid dumb shit? Who goes to drill niggas in designer? My nigga, that nigga was clearly going about his business. He wearing designer. He got his bing on him and he outside. So he got to protect his life. Now let the nigga say, yo, let me put on this designer and go do a drill. Like, I, I understand nigga set a bar where he said, you feel me? Niggas is still get, he is still do a drill dressed in his eyes. You know, I forgot how the bar go, but I know it's something to have to do with him doing a drill in, 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 in designer clothing and shit. <laughs> I'm in fashion, I bet I still up it. At the end of the day, my nigga, what do you want him to say? Yo, you know what? Yo, wait right here. I'm about to go 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 change my clothes and come back in some drill clothes. Like, what the f To point out that K-Flock was actually dressed like that on the exact day as shown weird. by his social media posts. That didn't matter for long, though, as a day after the shooting incident, surveillance footage from the outside the barbershop leaked to the internet. When people saw the footage with it, telling a different story to what cops had released, they wondered if there was more to the story. The surveillance footage actually showed k Yeah, y'all see how dirty the cops could be, right? They released some shit saying that nigga was going back and forth with the person in the barbershop and did all that shit. Come on, my nigga. How about how about you paint this picture? This young man... Now, I'm not sure if this is sister or not, but I think it is, right? This young man is walking with his little sister. Who knows where he's going, what he's doing. He's going about his business, but he's with his little sister. So I doubt he's going to look for beef. With his little sister with him. There's no way that you're just about to take your little sister. Especially, you know, he shows that he has a lot of care for his sister. You see, he posts, he taking her, his little sister shopping and buying her designer things, expensive things. So he has love for his sister. I don't think he would intentionally put his sister in danger, right? Now, since you cops want to paint that dirty ass picture of him, look at this. He's going about his business with his sister, which he loves dearly, right? And then someone in the barbershop... Who he didn't notice because he walked and that person said something and caught his attention and he looked and then fanned that person off. We about to see it in this clip right now. He fanned that person off going about his business. That person insisted on coming outside to antagonize the situation. Now, K Flock is putting us in a situation where he has to make a decision. It's 
me and my sister who I love dearly or this man right here who I don't know, right? Because that's the pic picture y'all painted too, right? His family said that he they, he didn't know K Flock and all that things, all those things, right? Okay, this man who I don't know, who's reaching, he posed a threat to me and my sister. I know I'm illegally in possession of a firearm, but it's only to protect my life, right? Boom! This man comes out. He gets the reaching and comes towards me and my sister, and I did what my human instinct made me do, protect my life. You feel me? Like if you take a two month old baby and you hold it by the legs and you act like you about to drop him, the first thing that baby would do is put his arms out to protect its head. So your natural instinct is to protect yourself. He's put in a position where he has to protect himself. Why are you guys still trying to make it a murder and not self-defense? Why don't you just charge him for the firearm? Look at this clip now. Walking past the barbershop without even looking sideways. Look. A few seconds later, the victim walked sister, out through look. the door and walking past the barbershop look, without even looking sideways. A few sister. seconds later, the victim walked out through the door look. and followed K-Flock. And not even we're all from the hood, right? If you watch the clip, I'm going to bring it back again. The guy comes out the store and he's already clutching like this. And you know when you, if you're from the hood and you're, you're outside or if you even watch gangster movies, you know how to read a body language, bro. That body language right there showed that that man came outside with ill intentions off the rip. Like he saw up. Because how did he know that was K Flock right there? In sideways. A few seconds later, the victim walked out through the door and followed K Flock. What happened next was not clear as they were both out of the camera angle. The release footage also has no audio, and it does not capture the me? actual shooting. But it seems people were soon attracted by the ensuing gunshots. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is he trying to build up, like, some type of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Shit. Damn, I don't know, the, I forgot the word I'm looking for, but fuck it. Like, what he trying to do, bro? Like, there's another clip that's been out for months. Like, what's going on here, bro? One thing was established when the footage was leaked, and that was the fact that K-Flock did not initiate any conversation with the victim, which seems to dispute the New angles, York Police bro. Department's initial statement. They claimed that he looked into the barbershop, asking the victim what he was looking at. There are many who believed even if K-Flock was the shooter, as alleged, he would have claimed self-defense since the victim initiated the confrontation. Facts. That was soon ruled out because, let's be real, the victim was reported to have been shot on his back and neck, which basically means he was moving away from the shooter. No one dared... Are you dumb? You see, this is the dumb shit I'm talking about. Look at the distance. Now, look, look. you cops are, your, your job is to investigate, right? Now, this is what they say. He, he got hit in the back, in the neck, right? How about he got hit in his neck first, tried to run, and then got hit in the back, right? Or how about this? He couldn't get his weapon out in time, and K Flock upped his, and he tried to retreat to go maybe get low to get his out, but K Flock fired. Why would I let you get your weapon out when I know you have a weapon on you? Whether or not you're running, because we we don't know why that man was running. He could have been running to go get low behind a car because this other guy upped it on him first. He had a quicker draw, so that's why he retreated. Like, what the fuck? Like, he got hit in his back. Look at the distance. It's not like he ran all the way up the block and K-Fly chased him. Because you don't see K-Fly come back into the camera angle. So, which means he got hit on a close range. So, K-Fly backed out quick. He, oh, shit, panic. He didn't have time to get his shit out and got hit in the back. To claim self-defense in that sort of situation. Or is he going to claim that his life was in danger? I don't think so. Even if he was able to wriggle free from that, he would surely be left fighting the other gun charges for some time. It could even take years. K Flock quickly lowered up, anyways, as his attorney, Scott Lehman, later disclosed that he was conducting his own private investigation. He also mentioned something about the New York Police Department okay. receiving. Oh, let me see. Okay. I got a palsy right here. Right? Let me bring it back a little bit. All right. So, this is where they were walking, right? All right, the barbershop is the blue shit right here. This is the barbershop right here. The blue shit. You feel me? So K Flock walked this way, coming up. I didn't see all this 
shit right here in the video. Maybe the, the way the camera pointed, it didn't show all this like vegetable and shit. But anyway, they walk past this. They obviously had to walk past all this vegetable and all this shit. You feel me? So meaning they probably were here. They probably reached towards the corner. Because I seen the other angle. So they reached towards the corner. That's probably where K Flock stopped and let the shots off. Sun ran and dropped over here somewhere. You know what I'm saying? He fell over here because he didn't fall all the way back by the barbershop. He fell a little bit further up if you've seen the other angle. So which means this guy came out the the, 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 the barbershop, seen K Flock, followed him all the way up here. So you followed him all the way up here. And you telling me, you don't know this man, but you follow him all the way up there. You see a man, a young man with his sister. You follow him all the way up there. For what? What was your intention? And then they later found out that he had a weapon on him. So what was his intention to follow him so far? If he'd have came out and seen, oh, I don't know this nigga. Oh, that's not my op. Let me go back in the shop. I don't know. You feel me? It don't look like K-Flock asked him what he looking at. He looked like he came out asking K-Flock what he looking at. And when he came out, he came out like this and looked like he was speaking. This shit is ridiculous, bro. Anonymous tip that his client, K-Flock, wasn't the one who pulled the trigger that killed Hernandez. Lehman also revealed that the cops were reviewing the Hello, evidence and the trigger that killed her. Parman receiving an anonymous tip that his client, K Flock, wasn't the one who pulled the trigger that killed Hernandez. Lehman also revealed that the cops were reviewing the evidence, an indication that the earlier mentioned anonymous tip might not have been tangible. The New York Police Department claimed that they were able to place K Flock in the area of the shooting, but didn't stop there. There are reports that detectives have recovered the murder weapon and it had K Flock's fingerprints all over it. Some even said that while the officers responded to the emergency call, they allegedly spotted K Flock trying to flee the area. How true is all that? We don't know. So many questions were left unanswered back then. If he was spotted fleeing, as alleged, how was the said murder weapon gotten by the police? Right. Did he discard it or flee? Or was there any attempt to arrest him by the cops? Because right. remember, he actually surrendered to the authorities, not that he was arrested. Right. Another thing to raise is the fact that in the surveillance footage scene, K Flock was actually walking with two other people. So why haven't we gotten anything about their identities too? They're key witnesses, I think, and their information would surely go a long way in assisting this case. Many k Flock fans would really wish to get updates about his condition while he awaits trial. k Flock has kind of hinted to his fans about how he's coping behind bars though. He posted this picture with the caption, All good, don't believe the blocks of the internet, everything trendy, forever DOA, which is an indication that his spirit isn't down as he fights this case. That was why I really didn't believe- I ain't gonna front, that's, like, that's just a nigga attitude in jail. Niggas be having that attitude like everything is okay, you know what I'm saying? But it don't, it don't really just be okay, it just, it's just a jail or- The rumors about him getting attacked in jail by another inmate, because if he really was, that's one of the reasons his lawyers would have taken to court to ensure that he gets bail. We all saw that with YFN Lucci. K Flock also seems to have had a kind of encounter with d Thang, who happens to be his cousin in Ops. In a leaked freestyle from prison, the two drill rappers kind of mentioned something about how the other reacted when they met behind bars, even though both didn't give much away. Some fans have talked about how they would have loved to be a witness to that though, as there would surely have been tension in the air when both rappers met. But would they be foolish enough to bring the streets into the prison, in the what? full view of the law and other witnesses? I don't think so. K Flock and his cousin, D Thang, have always been engaged in beef with shades being fired through their songs and social media posts. Several disrespectful remarks about each other's dead homies and all that, an act that's always come with its repercussions. They may be family, but this beef has been reported as the real rep beef with rumored bodies to show for it. From Rag G's to J Rip to Tahu, both camps have gotten clipped homies to show for the beef and many fans would only hope it doesn't go any further. So it wasn't surprising that the brief encounter never made headlines, no bra broke out, or anything like that. K Flock seems. Real talk, I think, you know, K Flock is the. Uh the was one of the latest drill rappers at the time. The influence and the eyes he had on him, the cops just probably just wanted to make him an example so that the other drill rappers, you feel me, would fall in line. But that didn't work. And then they went for D Thing, who was second up, and that didn't work. And then they went for TG. And that didn't work. Then it, no, that they went for Lee Drilly, and then it's just gonna keep coming and coming and coming for all the lit niggas till they try to lock all of y'all up, and there's no more niggas lit. Like it's gonna stop the drill. It's not. 
is going to keep going because now that you take away the lit niggas, they're looking for the next niggas up. And it's going to always be some next niggas up. So, you feel me? Like, it's actually, cops need to actually do their job instead of just harassing niggas. Because look at this shit. Y'all ever watch videos of people posting cops harassing them? Like, let's say, like, K-Flocking them. They have this one specific cop that's there all the time harassing these niggas specifically. It's one black cop. It's always there. And then there's another black cop, the one in C Blue situation. You see him in several videos as well when people are recording themselves being harassed by the police. So doesn't it look like specific police target specific people? Now, you can't just gamble on my life because you think that I partake in certain things. Now you want to hop out on me hoping that I might have a firearm, hoping that I might be doing something illegal. That's not how it works. Like recently I was I was outside and a um police officer drove by and I had a cup in my hand, one of them red red plastic cups. Mind you, the cup is empty too, right? He drives up Bust the U-turn and comes back to the side of the street I'm on and comes to me. What's in your cup? I don't think that's probable cause because if you saw a white man with a cup, you wouldn't just bust a U-turn and come back and ask him what's in his cup because then your common sense would kick in and say, oh, cups don't only hold alcoholic beverage. They hold drinks too. They hold soda. They hold water too. He might be drinking water or soda. They didn't think of that. They just said, oh, we know him, and most likely it might be liquor in there. So let me hop out and see if it's liquor in it. You know what I'm saying? And he came, and he couldn't give me a ticket because the cup was empty. You know what I'm saying? This happened before with the same cup situation. I had Fonte in my cup, and he hopped out, did the same shit. It was Fonte. Couldn't give me a ticket. But now it shows that you're targeting. You're, you're gambling and hoping that one day that cup be with liquor. Just like with these kids, they stop them and harass them all the time, hoping that one day they have a gun on them, or one day they're doing something illegal. And I don't think it should be that way. I think cops should just see niggas and go about their business. If you see them doing something, there's a difference. Like, nigga, you got all the right to hop out and arrest them or do whatever you do. Like, you feel me? Because now you're doing your job. But you're gambling on people's life and freedom just you hopping out and then hoping that you find something. Like, that's harassment. You know what I'm saying? That's harassment. That, that's not fair to nobody. Even a nigga that you feel is a criminal. It's not fair to them either. You feel me? Like, real talk. Like, what if, what if, what if, what if the black cops decided to go to the white neighborhoods now and hop out? on white guys hoping that they might have some coke on them. Yeah, that shit, it sound harsh and it sound mad ignorant, right? It do, right? But that's what they do, right? Hoping that they find some angel dust on them. Right? That's their choice of drug, right? Exactly. With the if the black cops went to their hood, they nice suburban hood, and just started hopping out on them, hoping and gambling on it. I guarantee you, it would be a big ass protest and it'd be a big deal. It won't be like how with these young niggas. And it seemed like I'm advocating for criminals and seems like I'm on their side. No, I'm not on their side because I'm trying to protect them and their criminal activities. I'm on their side because I'm actually on their side of the fence where police hop out and harass niggas because they feel like it. Now, you like myself, who 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 did, who came from street background, don't partake in the shit anymore. I have nothing to do with that shit anymore. But I still get harassed because of old shit, and they remember me. That's all it is, and that's annoying as f you know what I'm saying. And they say, yo, the way you present yourself is the way people perceive you, right? I don't present myself in that way. When I'm outside, I'm just chilling. You don't see me with a whole bunch of niggas with flags and throwing up gang signs and doing none of that shit. Nah, niggas, niggas ain't on that. You feel me? But they're still coming and harass niggas. And crazy thing about it, nowadays they come to your place of residence. They don't catch you in the street randomly. They pull up to where they know you're at. So it shows that they're looking for you. You know what I'm saying? Seems to be focused on getting out of jail and probably wasn't ready to jeopardize that because of a bruised ego or anything. He's also retained the services of Jeffrey Lightman, a very popular and high-profile criminal lawyer to take up his case. K-Flock isn't ready to leave any stone unturned as he tries to fight his case. He doesn't need to be told that he's fighting a huge case that would determine if he'll ever be a free man again. If he's lucky not to face the death penalty, more what? details will definitely come out as the investigation continues. 
so make sure you stick to this channel hey, as I'll be bringing them to you as they emerge. Hey, yo, my man, where are you from? The death penalty? How the f get, what the hell? Nigga, we, K Flock live in New York, buddy. I never heard of no one getting the death penalty in New York. Unless that was some ancient shit. I, I never heard that shit. As of recent times, I never heard that shit. Like, what? Death penalty? Think he in Texas or some shit. But anyway, man. Y'all comment how y'all feel about the whole situation. You know, I had my points where, you know, I paused and spoke on certain situation. Shout out to you if you're here for the end of the video and shit. You know what I'm saying? But, like, y'all comment and, and put y'all in, input in as well. I know at some point in the video it might sound like I'm taking up for niggas doing criminal activity. But that's not what I'm doing. You feel me? I don't feel like anyone should have, like, the power to... Put a nigga in, in jail and shit like that. But you feel me? It's like that. So I, you feel me? I can't go against that. But I'm just saying my point of view based on how I see shit. And, you know, me, myself being harassed. And, you know, people that I know being harassed and all these things. I'm just speaking from that perspective. You know what I'm saying? I'm not taking up for nobody any criminal activities. Obviously, nigga, I don't. I don't want these niggas to be out here killing each other. I use my platform to say it all the time. I don't want them to be killing each other. I want them niggas to get money and get rich and stay out the way and shit like that. I always speak that into their life, you feel me? I always try to talk to them and let them know, you feel me? There's other ways to do shit, but, you know, someone in the comment section might take it or perceive what I'm saying as if I'm trying to, you know, advocate for, advocate for them and their criminal activities, you know what I'm saying? That's not what I'm doing. I just feel like, you know, people should be treated fairly when it comes to the law and shit like that, you feel me? But y'all put all y'all little inputs and all that shit in the comment section, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Get us to 100,000 subscribers. It's your boy, Upper Class. If you not subscribed to Stella Gang yet, what you waiting for? Come on, join the squad, man. Stella Gang got the city hot. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you notified every time I drop a new video, man. BMG got the city hot. Y'all niggas know what's going on, man.